All righty, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. It's all about me this week. I get to be it's the host. Show. It, it's isn't all it all about me. Me. It's my show, and it's my birthday. <laughs> it's not today. Uh, Wednesday is my birthday. We're actually going away for the next. We're actually leaving tomorrow morning, which is nice. The wife arranged that we were going Sunday to Wednesday, so that way it wouldn't interfere with me being able to host my show. So, anyway, so uh, your show is yeah, your show is going to find out what you guys would get me for my birthday. So I know um, Ruff's got some good ideas rolling around in that head, and I'm sure there are probably a lot of people are probably going to get me a bigger room. Uh, I don't know. Nate, how you oh, doing, buddy? Oh, I got some good stuff for you, man. Oh, I can't wait. Look, I, I literally stuff. spent I put a lot hours of hours organizing things. And the reason I was organizing things was this is how good I am. Like, I got out a game called Legends of Wrestling, right? And I have all of the little pieces to play it but i needed the charts and i'm like where are the charts i've got to find the charts so i'm moving things on the way so i can look for the charts i get into my cabinet which is you don't even know there's a cabinet here somewhere there is a cabinet buried there and you found your father and i no, i looked in there and i couldn't and i didn't find them i'm like where in the hell are they so i actually looked in the little cabinet over here and i pulled out Actually, I pulled out a basketball game, and I'm like, what the hell? I don't play basketball. I opened it up, and there was my stuff. I got all my charts and everything in there. I was like, oh, my God. That, what luck was that? Wait a what minute. Luck? The king of being organized lost the charts to a game. I didn't lose them. I just didn't know where they were. Uh, There's a big difference. There's a big difference. Ruff, how you doing, buddy? I'm all right. Yeah. No, I must say, your show is awesome. <laughs> Thank you for being part of my show. I appreciate it. You've been part of my show for four years now, and for I appreciate four, four you. Years. It'd be Nate, five years been, like how many weeks is this for you now, Nate? Uh, I think I started in February, right? So uh, almost three months. Wow! And you haven't missed. You realize you can miss a show, right? You you can miss a show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Even yeah. I will tell you this: oh. even when my family came to visit me. Last week, I still was here on the show. Yes, you were. Tony could have learned something. Tony was slacking. You're making Tony <laughs> look bad. That's a problem. Nah, he's all right. Leave oh, him. look at him sticking up for his buddy. Yeah, he's my mate. Coy, what's going on? Edward, good to see you. Marnie, nice. Mr. Van Thomas. Hare, Paul, good to see everyone from Philly. I just, I just played... I just played an APA with the Phillies. So, Paul, if you like the Phillies, I just played an APA game. Well, I'll be watching them in June over here in London. Oh, that's right. You will be. Yeah, right. Jeffrey, good afternoon to you, my friend Thomas. Good to see you from Detroit. Detroit. Mm, I didn't do anything from Detroit. Sorry. Uh, Christopher, good evening. Hello, boot tweezers. Hey. I'm surprised he's not playing um, Terraforming Mars right now, actually. <laughs> Kurt, uh, Mike, butter jelly, what is going on? And a big fat nothing? Wow. That's not true, Mike. You, you, Mike has sent me some stuff. You know what, Mike? Didn't I'm going to show you what Mike ago, did. There was something? Mike sent me some good stuff. It's right here. I just have to dig down to it because... Wait, is it an early copy of Wolfpack? No. I'd have the ump if it was. <laughs> Where is it? I don't know. You haven't lost it. You just put it somewhere else. Oh, hills, bills. What do I do with it? I am losing everything. I thought he was supposed to be more organized, Ruff. Well, that's what he said. Yeah. yeah. I spent two hours tidying up. Right. I got hot and sweaty. He had to go and take a shower. Yeah, right. I think I put him in the box. The Steam game. I think I oh, I think oh. I put him in the box. <laughs> I think I put him in the box. 
So he actually 3D printed some little miniature cars for me. We've in seen mind. them. We've seen them. They He's look cool. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Them. So yeah. Yeah. don't tell me you give me nothing. You'll give me something and you'll <laughs> like it, mister. Dale, good to see you. Steven, hello. Hi, Demi. Everyone. Demi was online with me last night at like 2.30 in the morning watching me in did my five-and-a-half-hour stream. I did one stream last night more time than Ruff played the whole year so far. Yep. And I've still Andrew got Mike, what's going on? Kevin? Kevin. William, what is going on? I don't like your new icon. I like your face, so I know who you are. No, this that's a nice you are. Guinness. No, you can't go wrong with a Guinness. <laughs> Viper? Phoenix Knight, tonight... Tonight, 8 o'clock, right here, me and Phoenix getting together. We're playing some, uh, what are we playing? Aeon's End, I think, mm. is what we're playing tonight. Blue uh, Tweezers. He, play, he is playing Terraform. I knew it. I knew it. He's just using a different He's, login. See, what <laughs> he got caught red-handed yeah. because what happened, he didn't know I was a friend of his on Steam. Yeah. We're having the live stream, <laughs> and I get a little message that pops up. Blue Tweezers is now playing Terraforming Mars. I'm like. Right in the middle of our live stream. Are you serious? <laughs> he even oh come on and said God. hello, didn't he? And then went off and played. Surprise, Terrible. surprise, he lost it. No, I didn't lose anything. What are you talking about? <clears throat> uh, yeah, and Nordic was with me the, the whole five and a half hours. Nordic, no, no, he wasn't. He, yes, he was. He fell asleep. And then at the end, he set the no, alarm just so he go, well he done. Posting <laughs> comments. Every 30 seconds, he <clears throat> posting comments. I'm like... Man, what's wrong with this guy if he's watching me for five and a half hours? But we had a great time. We were playing Mosaic, a civilization game. Do you guys have have you ever heard of it? I have not played, played it? it, but I've heard of it. Okay, Rob, like you know, I've heard of it, but not played it. So um, you know, it's a big boy game. It's a ooh, it's a big boy game, but it's I good. Like, I don't like big boy games. I like silly games like uh, Massive Darkness. And, oh, he's uh, playing Dragon Quest three while we were. Or Dragon there we Quest go. Eleven yes. while we were playing. Okay, all right, <clears throat> all right. So <laughs> it's all about me today. You've all have been thinking about this all year. You've had three hundred and sixty five days to think about this, and I'm sure you have. What would you get Jester for his birthday? And in fact, what would you give me? We're going to start today, Nate. Present number one, because you're going to give me oh, more oh. than one present. What present would you give me? Let's go. Oh, oh, we're we're already in, we're ready in, to go. You got to be, well, yeah. Come no, on now. Well, okay. Well, since I know that you like Paths of Glory, ooh, yeah. And I thought I would get uh, get you a game that is similar to Paths of Glory, but it's not a CDG. Ooh. I don't know if you've ever heard of it or played it. It's called The Lamps Are Going Out. Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, yes. I've it heard of it. I'm not playing it, and I don't own it. So, yes, that would be a great gift. It is a very good game. Okay. Strategic? Because you like the strategic. Yes. Yeah, strategic level, World War One, But you also there is also a little uh, part where you can fight in Africa and then the Middle East as well. And uh, what's neat, too, is there is a bunch of – would that be Algeria or Algiers? Would it no? <laughs> there is there is cards. There's tons <clears throat> of cards, but they're all there's different events that come out as well as um, cards for developing technology. Ooh, uh, I love technology. Yep, and it's a super simple like combat system in that basically both of you roll a die and whoever gets the higher die wins the combat. But the way that the game is constructed with different modifiers and different events and things like that that come up <clears throat> feels like World War I, and it plays out really, really well. So I think, hmm. I think you would like. All right. I'll be expecting it in the mail. Thank you. Ruff, present number one from you. All right. Let me uh, – you're going to have to uh, share this. Okay. We're sharing. Oh, no, we get, All right. Uh, Oh, oh, that's not the right one. Ooh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm going to treat you oh. to a, a new game room. Nice. <clears throat> wow. So I've looked into it. I think the only thing is it's going to be built over your swimming pool. Um, <laughs> but 
but then but actually i looked into it and the cost was prohibited so what i've done is i've sort of tightened the belt a bit and i think i'm going to get you that instead ah i see i see yeah. yes i think you, get right. a couple, you, can, you can get a chair and a table in there and maybe a couple of games so and, and gesture that you we can actually see the picture it's not we can't count the pixels this time uh, that's true. A rough. You can find a big picture for that, but you can't find a big picture for your plane. No, the right? thing is, it, the, the first time was a mistake. The second and third time was done on purpose because I knew you'd moan at it. So there we are. <laughs> well, it's great that you would give me a <coughs> covered. Well, uh, I was going to get box, you the big game room. But I think you can get. I think you can fit in there, and um, you know, and the wife will be pleased. True. It's down the end, you know, back of the house there. Away. I could use the little extension on the back of the house. That would be awesome. That would be great. Yeah. So that, that was my first present for you. Plus, you can do your business while you're uh, playing. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what I say. It does look like a WC, as we say over here. Uh, extra squeaky is going to buy me more space. Nice. Christopher, organizer. Thank you. Lovely. Now, all right. We'll give now, more presents later. That's all right. Jester, I'm curious though. Do you, what kind of present would you buy for yourself? What would he I? He does buy that every week. Myself? He does that three or four times a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That is true. <laughs> um, what like I, I would buy is myself I'm... is a bigger house. A bigger we, house. We moved from Ohio down here. We decided we were going to downsize. This house we bought here is about the half the size of. The house that we had in Ohio, and it's got no basement or anything, so and, we downsized a bunch, which is good because you don't need a lot of this crap. Did you have thirteen? Problem is, I got a lot of crap. Yeah, but you did. You moved down here, you were saying, and you got rid of a lot of games. You I gave sold everything. Your... I sold yeah. it all. I literally, I put it online, and I said, "Here's my collection. Come buy it." And a guy came and bought it. So. Yeah, uh, now you regret that. And I, yes, I very <laughs> much regret it because I had a lot of things that I had to rebuy that cost me a lot more money today than they did back in the 1990s yeah. and well, 2000s. How, yep. ma how many did you have back then? Uh, probably about the same amount. Okay. Yeah, probably about the same amount. But I had I had a lot of games from the 90s and 2000s. So, and we moved down here in 2015. Well, it would be the. That'd be the 2000s and the 2010s. Yeah. We moved down here in 2015. That was like the cutoff. So then I was like, oh man, I wish I would have had this game. I wish I would have had this game. Well, when I moved down here, I was like, I'm probably going to be doing other things down here in Florida than you playing games all the time. Doing, you did. You started to do little book reviews of fantasy books and things. Yes. I yeah. was reading. <clears throat> I was doing all kinds. Of, I was playing computer games. I yeah. was doing, yeah, I was doing uh, book reviews. I actually, there's some war book reviews. Stalingrad. You might have heard of the little battle that they had. They need more games yeah. on that, I think. Yeah. Kind of like the Battle of the Bulge. There's not much on that. No. Yes. Um, so 2015, sold it all, moved down here. It was like, oh, uh, you know what? After like six months, I was like, I'm going to start. I'm going to buy a few games. And I did. I bought a few games. And that yeah. was the first day. And I don't the think day, I bought some more games. And the Your third day, I bought some more it. games. Yeah. And I just kept buying them until, like, literally, now I have so many. And that's your fault, and Tony's fault with the war room, is why I am now surrounded by games everywhere on the table here, on my table over there. I know, Russ, I used games. to like to see the books behind uh, behind you on your shelf. They were I fun to great look at. They were all war books, or some of my science books from uni and all that, but they're all war books, and um, yeah, they're all packed away now, but there we are. Oh, that's sad. This is, this hey, look, is yeah. from when we first started, but I actually oh, have things <laughs> I'm going to share. This no, I've got their headphones on, haven't I? I've got their headphones on. We can do what I want. <clears throat> this is from when we had Herman on. Oh, that's right. That's awesome. And look at Ruff's shelves. He actually has like wow. He's got books on his shelves there. He's got wait. This was, I know this. This was when Ruff uh, blew Herman's mind away because he actually he knew something. Yes. Which is oh. Herman's face was turning all yeah, red. The look on his face. face. That's all I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Where did he get this information the... from? Hmm? Yeah. Where? That was funny. That was funny. 
That was very good. <clears throat> yeah, look at all the books on that, that shelf. Yeah, there was a lot books. of books. Tony had a lot of books. Too. One look shelf of books left right down the bottom down yeah. there. I'm going to I'm going to try to find the photo. Oh, there is still some. Yeah, down in there. They may be going to make room for some of this lot. If when the first time me and Ruff got together, I got a screen. Don't, don't show that. <laughs> headphones. And on. literally, you will laugh till the sun comes down because we got our little headphones on. Yes, some headphones our I was little, wearing. Our little um, headphones, microphone. microphones. Yes, we were big time back then. Yeah, we, were, we, we got our little cables going. hanging down in front of us. <clears throat> Remember that, Ruff? Yes, I don't want to, but yes, very professional. Yeah, we were we were we had we had edge. one viewer. Do you remember who it was, bro? <clears throat> Tony our first person, our first person that came. Was it wasn't who? Tony, was it? No, it wasn't Tony. You know him though. He's a YouTuber. Oh, yeah. I just can't remember. Wardy Robe. Oh, was it Todd? Oh, yeah, it was Todd. Todd, Todd Wardy Robe showed up. <laughs> And me and Ralph were like, look, there's somebody here. Somebody's watching. <laughs> uh, oh, happy that. Oh, Stuka's in the chat. Oh, my God. Stuka oh, was on my Stuka. live stream last night. He was all excited about the war game I was playing. And, and look, he tested the like button, too. Oh. Ooh, are you sure, Are you sure, Stuka, that it's working? <clears throat> well, if you could just uh, confirm that for us, peeps, if you'd be so kind as to push the thumbs up button underneath the video for poor old Jester. Yeah. Would be yeah underwater. <clears throat> Click the like button at least for his birthday. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's this so, one, not that one. I know you want to push that one, but no, push <laughs> that one. <clears throat> oh, you buy me, oh, Marlon would buy me a computer that is automatically critical of Strat Baseball. Nice. I like that present. That's a good one. <laughs> right uh, yeah. a bookcase that has eight shelves and four of them are filled with games Oof. and two with the advanced dungeons and dragons second edition books some say the best edition yeah some do say that wow so we'll we'll get to you guys and what yeah. you want to buy me later okay. how you been this week guys what do you been did you get anything new this week go ahead rough only non war gaming stuff, I'm afraid, which would be of no interest to our viewers. It was um I got I got the expansion for um I don't know, you can't see it. Star Wars Outer Rim. Oh yes. Got the expansion. And I got the uh campaign expansion for Massive Darkness. So Ooh. which is if you don't know, is a is a quite a it's not a hard game, it's it's but it's uh fun. Dungeon Crawler, uh, Fallen sort of Angel. Look, this is the. I've had to put my paints away so I could do an unboxing. But look oh. at the sort of. Look at that. Look. Look at oh, that. Wow. Man. That's impressive. Yeah. That's the big boss, you know, one of the big bosses. But yeah, I've got to paint that sometime. <clears throat> so I've got. If you own. want great minis to paint that look like that, get a game um, called Deliverance. Did you see me play Deliverance? It's about no, angels haven't. and demons and all the things. Well, these, these are fallen yeah. angels, I think. You know, so yeah. uh, and 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 you've got your sort of skeletons and whatever, and you're the light bringers trying to uh, banish them back from whence they came. And it's a, a sort of nice little dungeon crawler, um, but the box is like that. You know, it's a bloody great because it's all the minis in it. It's a um, cool minis or not, you know, Simon or whatever they want to be called game. So it's chocker with uh, with minis. So yeah, yeah, and uh, I've got my uh, <clears throat> and my stuff for Shadows of Brimstone, some more sort of um, supplement sets, which you cannot get over here for love nor money. So I got them from Noble Knight. So that's about it, really. Rough. Do you have more? Uh, I'm curious. Do you now have more non-war games than war no. games? No. Okay. No. no. It's not only eighty twenty. 20, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if that if that but um i mean the top shelves those two the top sh two shelves of these is non-war gaming i've got uh and i've got massive darkness over there nemesis over there while i'm painting it uh but yeah it's no it's war games okay. but i do but i do love my other i've been gaming since you know not war gaming so much but gaming since i was 10 
So, you know, it's it's something that's dear to my heart, you know, and, and Dungeons and Dragons, of course, in the uh, 70s and 80s, were playing that. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, bloody hell. <laughs> Not, I didn't think it'd end up like this, though. <laughs> Never thought, did you? Nate, did you get anything in this week? I did get something new it's actually sitting in my mailbox right now it's not a game though it's a trilogy of books on the collapse of the roman empire since that's my era so i wanted yeah. to read what another historian had to say about it so I do you get that. the um when you read because you've done a lot of research you're doing your your, your phd and all this mm -hmm. sort of thing do you get the um when you open a book on on your love the roman empire and you go what a load of old nonsense. <laughs> I I have done that before. I bought a book and, and gone through it and thought, this is crap. And he hasn't done his research. What's he doing? <laughs> and just tossed it. <laughs> really? <laughs> but some, actually these days, those if I hate a book, I will still keep it because it's, it's good for uh, a good reference of this is what not <clears throat> to do. <laughs> however, however. Things that were rubbish Correct. 10 years ago might well come true in the That's future. Right. Well, That's, right. Right. Never know. That's right. That is true. That's right. They keep uh, you know, they keep evolving and coming up with new theories and yeah, um, yeah. And what was rubbish, you know, um, because the the a good case in point from a, my scientific point of view is that uh, stomach ulcers, uh, an Australian um scientist put forward the thing that he thought it might be caused by you know people getting stomach ulcers stress and all this sort of thing it was actually due to a bacteria and he was laughed out of town this man got so much grief that it's untrue you know from all the sort of established scientists around the world right but he was he was found to be true it was found <laughs> to be a bacteria that caused some of the stomach ulcers that uh, but yeah so you never know and Paul is asking, what's the trilogy called? Oh, <clears throat> um, let me pull it up, actually. He doesn't know. He ordered too many stuff. While he's doing that, I'll answer my question. I got some stuff in this week. It actually, uh, Gareth, got... Gareth you're, a, you're a gem. Now, I've got my buddy partner for PunchCon. Gareth's bringing a carload of games for us to play, and he's also going to stick in out a rim as well. So... <laughs> When we go to uh, okay, <laughs> punch gun. There you go. What was your what was your trilogy? It's sorry, it's, uh, no, 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 you're fine. It's just called The Fall of the Roman Empire by Nick Holmes. So, uh, but the three books are The Roman Revolution, The Fall of Rome, and Rome and Attila. So that's what got me because the third book has to do with specifically on my PhD topic. Ah, uh, uh, there you go. But I will. I, I do want to tell you, Jester. Though I have been playing a non-war game. Well, it is a war game, but it's not a historical one. And I know you both of you. I think I don't know if both of you have it or not. But is this I'm a sure new game? Is this a new game? Ooh, are we playing no. Nate's Jeopardy? Ooh, but oh, oh, yeah. oh, I haven't got that. No, awesome. You have the expansion for that. I do. Wow, that's mm -hmm. good. Nice. That's a very See, expensive game. Eighty-five dollars minimum for that. For the well, anywhere between when I got it, I had some. Uh, I had some Amazon money. <laughs> really? <laughs> I did. So it wasn't that expensive. So you want to trade? We can make some trades going on. I'm, you no, know, I've no. got some stuff. Well, I might have mm -hmm. traded it for Knock Paris, but since I went and bought it anyway. <laughs> Oh, well. I also have... Ooh, what are the other ones I have? Uh, I think I think those got buried. Hmm. Oh, well. I got in a few things this week. I got in the second edition of Cornucopia and Guilds, the Dominion expansion. Oh. And, you know, they've updated that to second edition. I did an unboxing and showed you the the second edition game and the upgrade pack and the first edition because I own it all so very nice I thought that would be a good uh, comparison so people that are interested in trying to upgrade or not upgrade and what's the new things what's the not what's not new what's the same so I'm trying to make the greatest 
Dominion tutorial series on the you internet. You do love that game, don't you? Mm -hmm. I, I do can't get into game. it. I, it's nothing wrong with the game. It's just I can't for some reason get into it. I can't. What, why can't you? Is it? It's not, you know, it's not that solo friendly, is it? For a start. It's it's why it's not my number one game anymore is because it doesn't play well so yeah and I think that's the main reason that's the sort of ninety five percent reason it's if it had a solo mode <clears throat> oh crikey the world would be a, a much better <laughs> place I would be emailing you with hate mail constantly <laughs> but it's it's not so I'm safe <laughs> was the game that started coming out in two thousand and Four, two thousand six. I forget yeah. what it came out. Um, and they're still releasing expansions for it. They came out with an expansion in twenty twenty three. Uh, Nomads, I think, was the expansion. Wow. And we're talking big expansions. So uh, I did a, I did an article on this. Um, if you were to take, do you do you, re do you realize how many different combinations there are with all the different cards that are in this game? There is. Well, at last count, there's 568 different cards. And you're using 10 of those cards at random to create your kingdom. And do you realize how many different combinations there are? I there could break that, but I can't be honest. combinations in that than there are grains of sand on Earth. You could literally fill up. I think somebody said you could fill up the Grand Canyon twenty-seven times or something like that with all the. It's crazy. Wow. Such a that's crazy for such a small amount of cards, really, relatively speaking. Yeah, but because you would you're think only, that, right? But well, yeah, no, you yeah. It, there's there's studies that. done that if you shuffle a deck of cards, which are just fifty-two yeah. cards, yeah, mm -hmm. you have created a brand new, never before created deck because the the chances of somebody else shuffling randomly and coming up with the same is uh -huh. no i'm not disputing it it's just crazy that that small wow. amount relatively speaking of cards and that's with 52 50 cards now imagine <laughs> multiplying that by yeah. 568 cards it is there is <laughs> there's a, a website i wonder if i have the website anymore i used to have it let me see if i still have it what did you um, give me like a, the math gareth, math gareth went the thunderstone route because um it's got the solo option is that right yeah yeah. I'm actually, I'm actually curious. Maybe both of you, because both of you would know, is is there any sort of like historical, like card, card game, um, or like a historical like card war game or something like that? Like mostly, I see in those like Euro type games. I think uh, Hall, um, Hall or Nothing, who did um, um, Killforth, the Killforth series. Which is a fantasy game. They brought out uh, Scum of the Earth, which was a Napoleonic card game where okay. you lay the cards out. They've also done one for the, um, uh, is it the Norman Conquests? Oh, but they're 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 pretty basic. Well, not but yeah, they've got cards yeah. and you have a grid. Of, I think you have cards facing cards and you sort of face off. Okay, a bit like that. Yeah, because like I've seen like obviously like Warfighter, it's all cards and everything. Yeah, um, but, yeah. Yeah. but that's yeah. that's a huge rabbit hole. Uh well the core box, I keep saying this to people, say, Oh, somebody, the core box has got a ton of stuff in it anyway. You know, because oh, okay. because of probabilities of things happening not twice, sure, and die rolls and things. There's a lot of game in the core box. So if you know, I love it. I'm curious if there'll ever be like a like an ancient um, card thing. Like, um, well, I know there's the GMT. What was it? I think it's like Battle Line or something like that. It's Greeks and Persians. Mm. But I, I don't know if there's like a Roman one out there. Um, I know there's a card. It uses cards instead of minis. So you put the cards down on the table instead of the minis. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's not really what you're talking about, I don't think, is it? No. Um, anyway, go ahead, Jester. Sorry. No, that's all right. Um, I, I'm still obsessed with this. So how, is, how unique is a random shuffle? The chances that anyone has shuffled a pack of cards fairly the same way twice in the history of the world uh, is infinitely small. The number of possible ways in order of a pack of cards where you take 52 cards, 
which is the 52 factorial, which means you multiply 52 by 51 by 50, yeah, 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 49 yeah. by 48, blah, blah, blah. The number you end up getting is 8 times 10 to the 67th power. That's a lot of zeros. That's a lot of zeros. There are 67 zeros after 8 to the 10th power. Wow. Essentially meaning that a random shuffle deck has never been seen before and will never be seen again. That is crazy, isn't it? Wow. I mean, I don't think, you know, you think, what? No, that can't be right. But I actually crazy. printed this out, and it actually, if you use, like, size 12 font, it takes two pages that you hold up and it printed out, and all it's just it's just zero oh. after zero after zero after zero after zero. That's how many. And that's what just 52 common is. Now imagine you're taking 10 cards of 560. Yeah, I mean, it's people's can't, people can't get their head around it. It's like time it's like you know you can go back a hundred years maybe in your mind 200 years maybe even a thousand but go go but go back a million or two you you know people go what you know mm -hmm. so yeah it's amazing thomas says he has bought out lysander which uses cards for terrain but again oh. which is a cracking game but we were uh, talking about what are we talking about it. um purely card games card games okay there is a um there's a World War II variant. It's made by what's that company? It's just a very small company. Um, Top Trumps. No. <laughs> what was the name of that series? It was um, I bought it at Origins like 20 years ago. Uh, I don't remember the name of it. Let me look. Are you seeing the comments? Um, yeah, I am. I appreciate everyone putting uh, suggestions in. They're good, aren't they? They're, they are. They're, they're very they're good. good. I didn't know about. Maybe I missed it. Barracks Emperors that Mike yeah. is from GMT. That's like a trick-taking game. Yeah, didn't appeal to me just because you know. Again, no. I kind of just. I don't mean it's bad. Just didn't appeal. Yeah, I I mm. kind of just. Like I saw it and kind of glanced over it, but didn't really look at it specifically enough. Um, All right, so you have Undaunted. Give it a second I don't look. know if that's interested to you, but Undaunted is kind of a tactical card game. But yeah, the tactical. Uh, there is. Um, I'm looking for good choices here. Um, obviously, the Warfighter that. series. Yes. Get yeah. a cold box, night. You'll love it. Okay. I, I completely agree with Ian, though. Yeah. It doesn't yeah, matter. Doesn't doesn't matter. I always get the one that I lose. No matter, <laughs> like in Warfighter, it doesn't matter how much you shuffle the pack, you always get the bloody horrible Germans come out first <laughs> turn. There was what was it was like battle battle. There's a game called like Battle Storm. Is that what it's called? Let me oh, think. Battle Line? No, not Battle Line. No, uh, Battle Storm card game. Let me see. It was um. Does anybody remember the bat? Was it called Battle Storm or Battle Battle Line? Something like that. That was a good tactical. You, you had a can of cards. You put out like a infantry. They had a certain attack value. Yeah, um, I think it. I uh, think you're thinking of Battle Line. No, no, it was something else. The medieval one. No, it was something else. It was something else. Battle. Now, there's a good question from Table William. Battles. The backs of the cards. Oh, sorry. The same Kevin. <laughs> sorry, Kevin was saying Table Battles from Hollandspiel. I don't know anything about that one. I don't know anything about that either. Be saying, have a look at that. See, this is one of the things that I love and hate about this show is that it yeah. costs me money. It does. <laughs> oh, you've just realized that, have you? Oh. You've just realized that, have you? <laughs> yeah. All uh, right. You know, I told you, Nate, that, that, oh, I've got plenty of room in my spare bedroom. No, it's all going to be gone. Well, hey, by the way, nothing has changed. There's still books here. You only been here two months. Give it a couple more. Yeah, months. give it. A, yeah, I I had one of them once. 
God, if I find this game, it's time of crisis. I know what it looks oh, like. I've seen it. I can see it on the channel. I can see the box cover. It's just a little little card game. Uh, oh, didn't um, is it Tiny Battle Publishing or what would it be? Uh, for my game, no, it's not Tiny Tiny Battle. No, no, no. They 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 brought out one for the World War II and one for a, a sort of more ancient game. It's cards. I can't remember. Is it Tiny Battle Publishing or is it the parent, the big company, you know, old school tactical oh. company? I remember, I think years ago, I think it was GMT had a like Civil War card game. Like you fight out the whole Civil War with just cards. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Let's see if I can find it. Gosh, if I could remember the name of that, it was actually a pretty interesting little game. And yeah, blue scenarios and everything. Um, I mean, if I mean, it, it, you mean cards in the hand that you play, or cards that because there's things like Mike is mentioning up front, and you've got um, a point blank, but they use, and you've got things like um, uh, fields of fire, but they use the cards as terrain. Hmm. Ah, hell, hell of Stalingrad and Hell of Midway. Is that? Uh, no, I think that's one. Yeah, option. that is definitely an option. That's in. That's definitely a mic uh, up front. There we go, Nordic. Uh, yeah. Okay. If I have an urge. I'll, I'll send you something. <laughs> no, Nordic. Don't listen to Nordic. He doesn't know what he's talking about. ACW. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. ACW Dixie. I don't know. Tycoon. The GMT. You'll probably find it as soon as the show's over, and you know. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Probably that's the problem. Is uh, Frontline uh, DVG Frontline D Day, okay. which is kind of got a weird. It's got a weird little thing, but it's not a bad little game either. It uses cards, and it's more tactical though. Again, I know you're not a big tactical guy, but yeah, blue tweezers. Yeah, I was just looking at that on. Uh, I found that GMT. Oh, I found it. What Front is it? Frontline general. There it is. Spearpoint, nineteen forty-three. Oh, there it is. I, 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 I knew. I if as soon as I saw the box, I'm like, that's the one. Uh, and it's by who's it by? It's like Brian or Bob or something like. What's his Brian, Brian Collins? Byron Collins is the name. Yes, that's it. Spearpoint. Yes, Spearpoint. How many guys would remember Spearpoint? Remember that? Two thousand ten. Yeah, I told you it was a while. I told you it was a while ago. <clears throat> yeah, and it's cards, and you're putting the cards down, and each of the cards has got. Attack value, defensive value. Oh, yeah, I'm looking um, at it now. That looks kind of neat. It's actually pretty good, yeah. And it's pretty cheap, too. You can get it for, I don't know, like $15. Probably. Uh, yeah, there's somebody selling it for $15, $12 Canadian. Huh. That's like $2 US. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and, like, and, like one pound, and like one pound 25 in uh, proper British pounds. Mm hmm well, I appreciate it. Normal Knight's got it for 17. Thomas, Thomas has put down Airborne in your pocket. That is a great game. I've got the print and play version. That's a version I wish they would reprint again. I love that game. It's so daft. It's so easy oh, to play. What is the little competitive game where you put a card down and you're trying to out? What was the name of that one? Ah. Oh. Uh. Yeah, and seventy five dollars is shipped to the U.S. That's yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. That's the problem. Canadians trying to rip you off. Uh, what was the name? There's another one. It's very. It's like it came around the same time, two thousand eight, two thousand ten, two thousand twelve. It was a competitive. I play a card, and then you're you're building like this little matrix on the player board, and then as like. 
like your artillery can attack somebody that's like three spaces over. And so oh. you remove that card out. And each player had the same deck. And so it was a matter of trying to figure out like the best moves for your guys. I can't remember the yeah. name of it, but man, it was, it was one of those games. Somebody might remember, uh, remember as I explain how to play it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Well, anyway, why don't we get on this subject? Because Nate, it's not it's Nate, it's Nate, Nate, anything Nate. to do with my birthday, Nate. Not at oh, all. I'm no. sorry. I just asked a simple question, and all of a sudden, it just you know had a life of its own. <clears throat> airborne is that airborne? Is that what it was called? Airborne in your pocket? No, no. Airborne in your pocket uses tiles to you move around. Um, it has cards in it, lots of cards like permission cards and other things, but it's more like. Um, well, no, it's not like it. No, it's not like that. But it, it's I love it. I've got the print and play version. I just want them to reprint it. You've got little tiles you put down. Oh, uh, yeah. I see it objectives now. and things. I, I, I did yeah. a playthrough on my – yeah, I did a playthrough on my channel of the print and play version. That must have been from 20 years ago. It must have been. I had hair. <laughs> now, Jester, I'm curious. So back to your birthday. So are you going to play a war game on your birthday? No, I'm going to be driving back from from the Keys. Oh, very yeah, nice. We're going we're going down to the Keys for very my nice. birthday. Never been there. So we'll be gone Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I'll be coming back Wednesday. So probably be on Wednesday night, maybe. So you guys won't see me for a couple of days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Well, when are you actually away proper for a couple of weeks? Was that the um that is going to be the 27th and the 4th. 27th and the 4th, right. Well, I'll, be I'll, be here, I'll be here next week, and then I'll be off for two weeks. And then you're off the following week after that. You're off like May 11th to your con. Is that my, is it May 11th? I can never remember. Yeah, that's what you said it was. You have to tell me. That was <laughs> so, so, so rough, it'll be your show for two weeks. Yeah, and we're having dancing girls and uh, birthday cakes and everything coming oh. out. So, uh, yeah. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. What is this called? PunchCon? PunchCon, yeah. Let's see what the if the dates are on the, their website. I've got the ticket. I'll just look on the ticket, but I can't remember off my hand. It sounds like it's... It's uh, sold out. Of course it's sold out. You have 26 days, 11 hours, and 13 minutes, and 42 seconds till the con starts. Is that all cracky? Yes, 26 days. Oh, uh, that'd be fun. Why does it have like. I, know, I mean, I can't believe it. Uh, we're already halfway through April. It's, it's Where's it going? It's uh -huh. bonkers. bonkers. Exactly. Vuka's going to be there. Oh, Vuka's going to. That's what I'm saying. I'm hoping that. Um, oh, you're looking for hand. Oh, luck no, I'm not looking for hand. Oh, I'm looking for there. teaching. Teaching. I hope. Um, Eves is there, the designer of uh, Red Red Storm, so he can teach me how to play the bloody thing, Red Strike rather, so I can get it out of the box. Oh, you got a swimming pool there? Wow. No, no, that's that's no, no. There is a swimming no. pool. No, yes, you do. Now. It's like a proper Tudor home. Well, I did show pictures of it last year when I was uh, I like you know, when you when yeah, I, I remember you standing on front and it was a very nice yeah. hotel and yeah. it's very posh. It's very posh there. <laughs> well, it's it's you British are very posh. Yes, very. it is. It looks posh, but um, it does. It does. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There, thirteenth to fifteenth of May, right there. There you go. Right. So maybe that's the following week then. And it's the Royal Court Hotel. It's not Wait just a minute. the thirteenth to fifteenth of May. Thirteenth of May. Thirteenth of what? That's not right. No, that can't be right. It's 2022. You fool. <laughs> what the hell? Did you not update your website? What's going on here? Why don't they have, like, the dates anywhere? Well, there is 26 days time. Yeah. That doesn't give you the day. I'd like you to work it out. Use your brain. Give your, your, your noggin the jogging. As I like to say. Oh my god. I think it's the eleventh, isn't it? I'm going down on the oh, uh 
Well, it's 28 days from today, and today's the 13th, so I'm guessing it'll be the 11th. I'm going down on the Thursday. Is that right? I can't remember. I'll sort it out. The event is May 10th. It starts May 10th? May 10th. It's Friday? Yeah, Friday? I'm going down on the Thursday. That's right, yeah. 45 pounds a ticket. Yeah, not bad. Thank you, somebody, Farnley. I don't know why they yeah, couldn't get the website. <laughs> oh, Crazy. yeah. All right, before we get into our our wonderful – do I have the image, Nate? Send me the image again. Sure. Thanks. Before we do that, Ralph, would you like to give me another present before we start that? I would. Um, now, this is not a game. It's not a place to play games. It's something to stop you buying games um, because – we know what you're like. Um, so I've gone a bit drastic and I'm going to book you into a clinic that uh, is going to put paid to you buying your stuff using quite drastic sort of um, uh, methods, which have been outlawed for about 50 years. But I think <laughs> it may well may well help you. It Let's might help me. Oh. It might help you. Let me see if I can get this up for you. Here we go. A bit of electrotherapy. Uh, oh, <laughs> wow. I think that wow. might put pay to it. If not, if you don't want that, what I'll do is I'll get you to your own personal therapist stroke nurse. <laughs> I think that might cure you of buying games. That's, that is definitely going to um, make me think twice about it. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> Uh, again, a nice big color photo. That yeah, was yeah, very yeah, I nice. Told you, yeah, I wouldn't have minded if that around. one was really small and pixelated. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's in your face. That will stop you ordering games, wouldn't it, if the consequences of that. Stop. Don't push the uh, well, buy. Well, definitely. Sorry, don't put the place, uh, press the place yeah. order button. Yeah, otherwise I'll come over and, uh, <laughs> and yeah. That is crazy. So sorry okay, stop that. sharing now. I don't, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> uh, you yeah. can't unsee it, Mike. You can't. So that was that's my they're helpful. I thought oh, they're very helpful. Man. Um, so now I'm, I'm setting up our background here as well, I did earlier. Jester, I have a serious gift. Okay, so we got another gift. Let's do it, Nate. Well. One, I don't know how old you are going to be. So, how old do I look like I'm going to be? Oh, at least 21. At least. <laughs> um, but I thought, you know, I know you like tactical games. I do. I love tactical games. And I know you, you favorite. I know I, I, I think that you, you like the, the old school type of games, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't know if you have this. Don't you, you dare nick my one. I've got I've, my my ones are proper three proper games after this. That's I know right. I'm, I've now been mucking about with it. But I've got <laughs> three proper games. How about Panzer Leader? Do you have Panzer Leader? I don't own Panzer. I had owned Panzer Leader before I moved down here. Oh. I gave up Panzer Leader to move down here, and I don't. I never bought it back. Wow. Uh, wow. Well, that is a good game, and it's cheap too. It is. It's very cheap these days. Mm -hmm. wow. And in that fact, looks like a very nice copy. That you could put yeah. that in the box with the other game you're shipping me. Not as nice as my one. Uh -huh. Ooh, <laughs> <look at that. laughs> I don't know. They both look nice. I They're like nice. Both it was like unpunched. That was an unpunched copy. That was. Oh, this one. This one was given to me as a gift. So I see it, it's got. Oh, the you can't. Crazy. You can't it's got a little ding in the corner, but I. Yeah, and then, uh, you got it. Got no, okay, it's. <laughs> And then when I opened it up, there was bags of stuff. Oh, he's got those green top bags in it. No. Uh-huh. I know they're hard. I haven't I haven't touched this yet. I mean, this was given to me and I haven't organized it. <laughs> well, you don't want it. You can send it to me. It's a tactical game, Nate. Or I could give you the um was it the the rise in, um third right game that I have that's missing like 130 some counters. <laughs> <laughs> 130 counters that's brutal he'll oh, print yeah. them out for you. he'll print them out for you 
I did it for me. Counters. I used to make oh, counters all the nice. time. I made Ruff a bunch of counters. Yeah, because I had a, a, a game that was missing a couple of counters, and he printed them out. And I have no, I'd love to know. How, I hope you teach me at some point, uh, Jeff. I got a video oh, on my yeah. channel, How to Make Counters. Oh, there is a video. Oh, oh there's plenty of videos. Well, it's I've hard got... to find them because there's so many videos that you've done. You've done at least 8,000 of them. No, I'm only between five and 6,000 right now. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's right. Five and six thousand. I think I was up to fifty seven hundred videos. Oh my gosh. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Last time I last time I looked, and I'm coming up on two hundred view or two two hundred views. Two hundred million views. Two two million views. Two hundred million. Wow. Two million views. Oh, I had my one remember last year, rough? I had my one million views. So I'm coming up on two million now. Ruff, how many do you have? What? How many views? Getting on for a million, I think. Oh, look at that. Ooh, you should have a big celebration when you hit your million. Yeah. yeah. Crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. You know, you one get video it. gets 17,000 views. Another one gets, to, you know, you think, crikey. <laughs> yeah, but it's weird. It's weird. There, there's our yes. thing. How's that work? Is that no, I don't look good. It didn't center it right. What happened? You Why just have to center it. What is going on? Did you send me a, a bogus no. video, a copy? No, you you selected the wrong option when you put it as your desktop. Stretch tile center. Should Fit. we try center? I'll try center. No, this no, it's pixelated now. So uh... <laughs> no, it looks pretty good, except for well, my photo doesn't look as good as your two, but that's all right. Who's complaining? Who's complaining? But you are in the center. That is true. I am in the center. So I should actually. The center of attention. Boom. Like that. So that way. Oh, I got it. There we go. Now I'm still in the center. There we go. All right. So, so far, good presence from you guys. Thank you so much. I I'm glad you, think, thought I'm glad you think that. <laughs> The nurse with the beard was awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I think nice. it's better than having the zapping of the head, you know, to stop you buying games. You know, I don't know. Right now, the best gift so far is the shed. Yeah. Yeah. You so could get in there. The lamps are going out was a pretty nice gift. Yeah, that's true. It is oh, true. It's a pretty but nice one. Yeah, you could then play the lamps are going out in the shed because it will fit. It's, it's And, and you can do it without any lamps in it. Because they've gone out. So now, my birthday know, is Wednesday the seventeenth. So what we should do is you guys should play a game on Wednesday, and then next week you tell us tell us what you played. Everyone, keep track of what you play on Wednesday, and then we'll review and talk about it next week what we played on my birthday. No, that's my show. We won't be mentioning you at all. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, yes, yes, your yes. show. We know like all it. about your show. Yeah, yes, it's sir. awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> it's very awesome. I do like our logos, Nate. You did a pretty good job. Well, thank you. you. Pretty good. Not, not too bad. At least you got it done. It took Tony five years. He never got it done. He was a slacker. That Tony. I'm oh, telling you. Him. Oh, but we love him. Ruff still sticks up for him. He was a oh, slacker. If it, if the roles were reversed, I'd be sticking up for you just as just as violent. Nah, I don't, I don't know. know. Of Whoa. course I would. Of course I would. Nah, you never stick up for me. When have you ever stuck up for me? I've been here for four years. That's <laughs> everything else. That's enough. <laughs> oh, that's not very nice at all. <laughs> He's been putting up with it for yeah. four years. If yeah. it wasn't for me. Your shelves would be full of books. He's, I know, and I'd be and I'd be uh, better off. He's practicing one of the uh, one of those skills that's it has a different term nowadays. But I like the old term, long suffering. <laughs> yeah, long suffering. You know how we met? Like I came across his channel. I was watched a couple of videos, and I said, "This poor schmuck." He's got like 40 <laughs> dudes. He's got like 40 dudes. Maybe I could send some people over there. So I eat, I think I posted in a comment in the section. I said, hey, good video. You're doing good. But if you really want to expand, you should get on 
come with me. We'll have a little live show, and you'll become rich and famous. And I yeah, got an email back I lost, from him. I lost. I got an email back. He's like, no, because I lost twenty viewers after that. <laughs> He's he like, hey, I'll come on email. this show if you're going to make me rich and famous. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, so let's do it. And we did. And I think the first show, we had one person show up. That was it. Did oh, you call yeah. it the war room on your no, first show? No, no. It was just, it was uh, live chat with IDJ. With me, I think, yeah. And with, some yeah, Yahoo. Yeah, wow. I think I even misspelled rough. I think I spelled it R U F F swordsman. <laughs> No, well, I remember when I first came across you guys that I think you were, Tony had already joined. And so I had done is I went back and watched every single show from the beginning and enjoyed wow. every one of them. Well, that's great. Yeah. I, look at you I, don't, now. I don't know it's if he joined is more, more along the lines of like, he was just like a guest host one day. <laughs> and then like at the end of the show, he's like, all right, I'll see you guys next week. And me and Russell looked at each other like, okay, we'll see you next week then. And so and then the next week came and he was there and we were like, okay, I guess he'll just keep coming back until we stop having him." And we never did. We never did. We never did. Thank gold. Yeah. So now that we're on the, close to the hour mark do you think it's a good time to do our uh segments or would you like to do i'm thinking about first? waiting until about 5 45 because you guys ramble on too long and so like if i only have 15 minutes left in the show then it'll, it'll make you speed up a little bit so. well see the problem is is that the longest segment of all three of us is us trying rough and i trying to figure out what game You've selected what block game that you've yeah, never bloody, heard of? BBG. Or, oh my god! Or what? What version of a game from a different publisher? Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I you can't help it. You two. I mean, here's the thing. I need to get Patrick and just replace yeah. both of you with Patrick. If I could get Patrick, I would replace both of you guys. Patrick, I reckon that was I reckon Patrick that was a lucky guess. Nailed it. Lucky nailed guess. it. He he asked me questions that were so far gone, and Ruff was like, You do realize like we're trying to guess this, right? And uh, and then like boom, he nailed it down time. in like three guesses. Yeah, and I'm that like, was a lucky, wow. lucky guess. Lucky guess. Wow. It was uh it was a good one, and I can't remember what game it was. I don't know. You got it. It just plucked it out of out of thin air. It was a it was a clash of arms game, I think. And yes. like the question was, like literally asked, it was this is it a clash of arms game? And I'm like, yes. How did you know that? And uh, then he then like, you. that's why I don't. I think he I rough <laughs> rough thinks he asked me because it's like, <laughs> wow, how did he know all these questions to ask? It was crazy. All right, Nate, go ahead. Go ahead with your go ahead, Nate, with your show. Oh, oh, we are doing it. Oh. We are doing it. Oh, yeah. oh. 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 <laughs> get off. Right. Ruff, you look great. No, geez. There. Oh, oh no, I am. Rocky, no, don't frighten the women and children. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. It's all about you, Nate. Go ahead. Oh no, Jester. This is all about you. It's your show. It is my show. Go ahead. And it's awesome. How many subscribers did you get from us so far? Probably doubled your subscriptions. Well, we were close to a hundred, and now we're over a hundred. There, there you go. go. There so, you go. It's just started. Yeah. It just started. I actually, I have. And if you video. actually post a video, the I do have a this video. Well. If you post a video, people will come and watch it. You do realize that. Well, I do have a war game video on our channel. It's on France, nineteen forty four. And it's a, it, I did was sort of like a, uh, like a overview and then an example of play of how the game works. And it's a great game. Anyway. So I thought, uh, that if a book that would go well with this game, unconditional so surrender, yeah. particularly there's a scenario, uh, with my favorite campaign of World War II or theater of World War II, which is the Mediterranean theater. And that includes 
North Africa and Italy and all that. Um, and roughly, I think that you might like this book because it's fairly short and it's a kind of an overview. What are you book. saying? Has it got pictures in it? Oh, it's got plenty of pictures. That's in all right it. then. <laughs> Lots of pictures. Short book with pictures. I'm there. There we go. The Battle for the Mediterranean. This is a great, great book. It's it is short. And see, and here, let me let me find. Oh, see, see, we got we got pictures in here. Too much words in that one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, but th don't worry, they're big words. Oh, it's all right then. And yeah, this it follows all the way from right at the beginning um, of the war, nineteen forty, all the way to forty-five. And I, I really, really like this book. I mean, no sooner than I bought it, uh, I, I read it, and it, it's great. Plus, I love the cover, especially this picture of HMS. I think it's Rodney that's firing. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. yes. Oh yeah, with the three main turrets at the front. Yeah. Very so, nice. I'm Very finished. Nice. Oh, I, that's it. That's Are it. Are you serious? Does anyone have any questions for Nate about what he just covered? Does anyone out there have any questions? Oh, I, I was trying to keep it short for you, Jester. Uh, we appreciate that. That was very nice, short and sweet. Ruff, I guess. If no oh. one has any questions, it's up to you now. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, mine's not short. Anyway, sixth of April today. Sixth. Uh, well, I talked about sixth of April. Thirteenth of April. That was last week's. Oh dear. Um, Forty-six. No, I think I've got the wrong one here. Hold on just a sec. Uh... Look for the little pictures. No. You know what? Hold on. Let me get let me get the right one out. Sorry. There we go. Right. You've had all week to get ready. Look, I just clicked, double-clicked on the wrong notepad thing. All right. Don't judge me. Notepad? 13th, 13th notepad? Notepad? Not, not a word document. No, use Notepad. Just get rid of it afterwards. But I didn't get wow. rid of the ticket of April. Yeah, no, it's so easy. Cut, paste, pass. You know, <laughs> dump, bump. Anyway, th seventeen thirty-two. We're starting today on the thirteenth. Uh, the birth of Frederick North, second Earl of Guildford, spelt with a G correctly. As Lord North, he levied the tax on tea that so incensed the American colonists that it provoked the so-called. Boston Tea Party. So he was born today. Ooh. 1741, Britain's Royal Military Academy was established at Woolwich, which is now at Sandhurst, but it was established today in 1741. <clears throat> 1777, American Revolutionary War. American forces are ambushed and defeated in the Battle of Bound Brook, New Jersey. And this battle... Uh, was a surprise attack conducted by British and Hessian forces against the Continental Army uh, outposts at Bound Brook, New Jersey, during this American Revolutionary War. The British objective of capturing the entire garrison was not met, although prisoners were taken. The U.S. commander, Major General Benjamin Lincoln, left in great haste, abandoning papers and personal effects. Late on in uh, on the evening of April the 12th, <clears throat> 1777, 4,000 British and Hessian troops under the command of Lieutenant General Charles Cornwallis marched from the British strongholds of New Brunswick. All but one detachment reached positions surrounding the outpost before the battle began near daybreak the next morning. During the battle, most of the 500-man garrison escaped by the unblocked route, U.S. reinforcements arrived in the afternoon, but not before the British plundered the outpost and began the return march to New Brunswick. 1861, American Civil War. Union forces surrender Fort Sumter to Confederate forces. Fort Sumter is a sea fort built on an artificial island near Charleston, South Carolina, to defend the region from a naval invasion. It was built after British forces captured and occupied Washington during the War of 1812 via a naval attack. The fort was still incomplete in 1861 when the Battle of Fort Sumter occurred, sparking the American Civil War. 
It was severely damaged during the battle and left in ruins. Although there were some efforts at reconstruction after the war, the fault, as conceived, was never completed. Since the middle of the 20th century, Fort Sumter has been open to the public as part of the Fort Sumter and Fort Moultrie National Historical Park, operated by the National Park Service. There we are. Didn't bother to build it again. I'll 18... be going there this summer. Are you going there? I am, yeah. Oh, somewhere I'd like to go because that's where it all started. Uh, what have we got? We've got 1892 now, the birth of Sir Arthur Travers Harris, Royal Air Force Bomber Commander, nicknamed Bomber Harris by the press, and often within the, the RAF as Butcher Harris. He instituted the mass bombing raids over Germany, including the controversial blanket bombing of Dresden. 1892, another birth. The birth of Sir, Sir Robert Alexander Watson Watt, considered by many to be the inventor of radar. The system provided the vital advance information that helped the Royal Air Force win the Battle of Britain. And then 1812, the formation of the Royal Flying Corps happened today, later turned into the RAF. 1940, the, RA, the, the RAF began deploying sea mines along Germany's coastal waters. And then in 41, a pact of neutrality between the USSR and Japan is signed. The Soviet-Japanese neutrality pact was a non-aggression pact between the Soviet Union and the Empire of Japan signed today, 41, two years after the conclusion of the Soviet-Japanese border war. The agreement, the agreement meant that for most of World War II, the two nations fought against each other's allies, but not against each other. In 1945, late in the war, the Soviets went, sod this, scrapped, that, that scrapped the pact, and joined the Allied campaign against Japan. And in 1943, 188 Japanese planes from Rabol raid Milne Bay, New Guinea, destroying one merchant ship and damaging others. 24 Royal Australian Air Force Curtis Kitty Hawks intercept them, shooting down seven Japanese aircraft in exchange for three Kitty Hawks. 188 planes, crikey. Mm. 1972, Vietnam War. The Battle of An Lo begins. This battle was a major battle of the Vietnam War that lasted for 66 days and culminated in a tactical victory for South Vietnam. The struggle for An Lo was in 1972 was an important battle of the war as South Vietnamese forces halted the North Vietnamese advance towards Saigon. And then lastly, it's got to be a plain one, isn't there? 1990, the first flight of the Sukhoff Su. 34. <clears throat> the Sukhoff Su-34, NATO named fallback, is a Soviet origin Russian twin-engine, twin-seat, all-weather, supersonic, medium-range fighter bomber stroke strike aircraft. It first flew in 1990, intended for the Soviet Air Force, but it entered service in 2014 with the Russian Air Force, the falling the breaking apart of the soviet union caused it to be shelved for a while so it wasn't until 2014 that it was actually in service it's still in service now let me just uh Would get up a picture huh do you have a picture i'm gonna get a picture oh it's a bit small but uh <laughs> let's see if i can get this up why isn't that coming up uh oh, there we are right God. there we go Ooh, Look at that. Ooh, Look at that. Wow. That looks cool, wow. doesn't it? Now, it's based on the Sukhov Su-27 flanker air superiority fighter, and the Su-34 has an armoured cockpit with side-by-side -side seating for its two pilots. It was designed primarily for tactical deployment against ground and naval targets uh, on solo and group missions in daytime and at night under favorable and adverse weather conditions and in a hostile environment with counterfire and electronic warfare countermeasures deployed, as well as for area reconnaissance. This thing is an all-rounder. The SU is planned, 
The Su-34 is planned to, to eventually replace the Su-24 tactical strike fighter and the Tu-22M long distance bomber. And it's still in uh, service now, but it's a cracking looking thing. I just love oh, yeah. the aircraft. So there we are. That's today, 13th of April. Lovely. I, I will add one more note. On, then. Actually, tomorrow is the 112th anniversary of the sinking of the Titanic. And if the show had been tomorrow, I would have mentioned it. Mm -hmm. but no, no, you're quite. Yes, that was. Um, <laughs> That's tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. but not today. Anyway, anyway 14th no. and 15th, 1912. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, it's uh, it's the best time of the week. Here we go. Jester's Jeopardy. Mm. Ralph, you can go first because it's my birthday. I get to choose. Oh. I, I went to go last, first last time, Nate. It's all right. It, it, it's, is it a BBG? It's what? Is it a BBG? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? A bloody bot lock game. A <laughs> Is it a bloody block game? Ooh. No, I don't think it's oh. a block game. Well, that's all right then. Hmm. I don't think it's a block game as far as like, hmm. no, I don't you think so. No, I don't know. You picked the I game. You ought to know. What <laughs> I would say no. I don't think there's a blocks. No. Watch, there is blocks in it. Man, there probably might be, but I would say no. There's one block in that game. <laughs> there's one block. I'll hear about it. I'm sure oh, about yeah. how, how broken <laughs> this is. All right, Nate, go. All right. Does this game take place anytime after 1945? Any after 1945? No. After 1945. No. Not after 1945. Okay, so it's not no. modern. Not is it actually. before? Is it before 1939? Is it before 1939? No, it's not oh. before 1939. Okay, so it is a World War II game. Allegedly. Allegedly, that's right. That is true. Good point. Um, is this game published by GMT? Uh, no, it's not published by GMT. Is this set on land in the East Front of Europe? On land on the East Front? No. That was an easy one. Is this game primarily a naval game? Yes, it is primarily a naval game. Hmm. Curveball. Woof. I think I know. Is this set in the Pacific? Shut up, Twees. <laughs> <laughs> My birthday, 427, it might be. Uh, is it set in primarily in the, in the Pacific? Yes. No, it's not primarily okay. in the Pacific. Is this game part of a series? I was thinking about it. I'm going to say no. I don't think it is part of a series. That's where I was just checking to make sure it wasn't actually part of a series. <clears throat> I mean, it might be there might be other games that are, I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to say no. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this uh, naval game primarily set in the Atlantic Ocean? No, it's not primarily set in the Atlantic Ocean. Well, that leaves Mediterranean and. Yeah. Is this game primarily set in the Mediterranean? Yes, it's primarily set in the Mediterranean. <clears throat> yep. I think I know what it is. You've got the book, Nate. You've got the book. That's right. Oh, 
who does naval games? Thomas is like, never mind, he's got blocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Free and see. Yes, yes, you bunch of cheating cheaters, aren't you guys cheating there? I see. It not gonna be. help you this week. Well, they're allowed, they're allowed to look on BGG. We're not. No. Uh is this published by Worthington Games? Uh no, it's not published by Worthington no. Games. It's never been published by Worthington Games, as far as I know. Okay, no, okay. Is this a DVG game? Is it a DVG game? Yes, as a matter of fact, it is a DVG and game. And I can't remember the name of that bloody I Italian got it, game. yeah. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, I can't remember the name of it. You've heard of it, though, I bet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I can see the cover. <laughs> Unless it's Nimitz. Could be. Are you looking it up, mate, you tinker? No, I'm not. Oh, I yeah, remember the yeah. name. Is it is it by S and S? By is it by yeah, stealth yeah. and C? By is what? it by stealth and C? Is it by Stealth and C? Yes. As a matter of fact, after 28 guesses, it finally got it. Wow, no, this it was, was, pretty, that was pretty, good, pretty good. That was good, yeah, because it's a game we know, a game we've heard yeah. of. Yeah, you know, no it's a game you've known, you know. a game you've heard of, like you never heard of any block games in your entire no. lifetime. Yes, I heard all about that. Look no, at that. Yeah, yeah. Good job, yeah. Ruff. Yeah, thanks, Koi. <laughs> yeah, good thing Coin was there uh, helping you. And... I knew what it was. I just couldn't remember the name. So there you go. We uh -huh. knew it was the Italian uh -huh. submarine game. Yeah. So you heard of this game then? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, that was uh, uh, the best looking game. Oh, gee, the best looking oh, game designer. Right. But I didn't think it had blocks. But I'm like, well, wait no, a minute. Has it blocks? It could yeah, be the blocks. best looking game designer on the planet, David Thompson. <laughs> Oh, there's wind disc. There's disc. I don't see any blocks though. Woo! I no, never heard the end of it. There was one we single can forgive, We can forgive discs. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I nah, do nah, hear nah, a nah, little nah. bit. And there's nothing against, okay. David, nothing against David or anything, but I do hear a little bit of pros and cons depending who's playing it. You know, some people like it, some people don't. Um, but I suppose that's like most games. Um, but I can't comment because I haven't got it. I didn't think you had it, and I don't no, have I it. And Nate, I don't think you got it, do you? No, nope, I don't. I don't have any David Thompson games. Oh. They're good. I mean, they're, I mean, yeah. if you like, see, if you like solo game, if you mm -hmm. don't like solo games, then you're not going to. I generally don't buy solo, no. but I have no. a few. What's wrong with you? Why don't you do solo? Did Most you not watch my video on the top ten reasons why you should play solo games? Well, well obviously no, I, never watch watch it. It. I haven't seen it. No, you need to watch it. I play lots of solo games because a I like them and b they're easy to video. You know, you don't have to. Well, you know, you know the best of... thing about solo games? It's all about you. You're always playing. It's always your and, turn. And we're awesome. And we're awesome. Well, tell me something I don't already know. Well, um, I'm telling you, um, it's <clears> always your like when you're playing solo. You don't have I to do wait like on playing, some yeah. knucklehead. You don't have to wait on some knucklehead like, uh, how do I do this? I, I will say my – so I actually have BGG up with my collection since I put everything in BGG. Yes. Once I buy it. Have you ranked every your collection yet? No, I have not done that. Pub Meeple. If you go to I, Pub Meeple, you can rank. Well, it. I haven't played everything yet in my collection, so I don't think I don't feel it's fair. Exactly. No, you can go in and say I don't want to choose this. I don't want to choose this. But then it might be a cracking game. Then you have to keep doing it because you keep mm -hmm. playing games, and they, no. I'm trying to work my way through. I all, tell you all, what, that four of them. That that subject Any caused more? a lot. 104. I'm trying to oh, work 104. To I think to play good. all 104. That that subject about whether or not to record what you played, do this, do that, caused a lot of 
polarity, uh, sort of a lot of dichotomy in in the mm -hmm. chat. You know, there were lots of people for it, lots of people against it. It caused a lot of bit of a stir. Mm -hmm. they did. <clears throat> you know, along with sleeving. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. It does. It causes lots of jeez. We <clears throat> talk about counter clipping and sleeping. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna That's have we're gonna have a yeah. fist fight in we're gonna have a fist fight. I so. think Jester, I think Mike has it right. Me and Mike, 104 games that what I have is you playing them in a month. Well, yeah. not to put too much pressure on you, Nate, but you do realize I played 134. New games never before played last year. Well. And I played 100 of those games in 282 days. Yeah, and he played them badly, but he played them. <laughs> I played them very badly, but I played 100 <laughs> brand new games never before played hey, them. I'm, I'm very picky on what I buy. <clears throat> and that... The game has to. Be, like, I study the game. I watch people play it. I read yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I did that. It's a good Nate, game. Nate, I did that too. Watched many videos. Got many opinions, and it doesn't. It don't matter, mate, because you think that <laughs> looks great. That looks great. I've it got to get that. Matter. One. You <clears throat> just wait. Just wait. Right. You're young. Okay. I am. So you're I'm you're not cool. making a ton of money right now in your job. Wait five, ten years. You're making a little bit extra money. And you're like, hmm, what am I going to spend this extra money on? Um, I'll buy a game. I'll buy a game. And then you buy a game. And then you buy, you say, oh, you know what? There's another game like this game that came out. And I like this game. And I've, and just seen this one too. I've just seen this video. This looks great. When you're in 40s and 50s, like well, you're going to have so much money. You're going to be like buying games every day. And become just like you. You will. <laughs> you will. It's, it will. You. Yes, you will. To the point I'll have shelves four deep of games that I can't Remember play. this, Ralph, in two years from now, when we see sh his shelves are different, he'll be like, oh, well, I never thought it was going to happen. And then you now. can embarrass him by showing old pictures. I will. I will. I absolutely will. Now, the one thing, though, okay, so I can guarantee, guarantee that these <laughs> will not be replaced by games. Guarantee, Ralph, he's going to guarantee him. Guarantee. Uh, well, well, never say never. No, 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 no. I, that, that is true. I, 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 that's why I didn't say I will never be, but I can guarantee at least that there won't well, be any games. Isn't it guarantee? guarantee is like never, isn't it? Like a never? I was going to yeah. say. It's yeah. either I one or the other. I want to slightly nuance it just in well, case. Well, we'll see. Is all you can say. We'll see. We'll watch see. with interest. We'll, we'll see. And we okay, won't, there you, you know. Go. Yes. I and swear this may or may not ever <laughs> happen. I swear it will never mind. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, we will see in two years if you're Chester uh, Spiker. <laughs> I might have to do remote shows by then. We're going to see this like little bitty like opening through all the boxes in your face right there. <laughs> yes. Well, we talked about this in the green room before. I'm actually. Yeah. I'm going to actually be getting rid of a few things uh, going forward here so I can make room for some new things. So we'll see. We'll see. I, I'm going to – I mean, there are a, quite a oh, few games that I currently own that I shouldn't own because, A, I don't want them. B, I'm never going to play them. And, C, they <sighs> take up way too much space. I why, know did one game, why, why did you get – sorry, why did you get them in the first place if you, you, you don't want them? Good point. I got them in the first place because I'm like, this game is $175. Ooh, that's a really good price. I should probably get this. So in 10 years, I can sell it for $200. Okay. okay. But it's gone, it's gone quiet, isn't it? And, and I'm like, maybe I'll learn the Goss system. What was that game that I got, Nate? Atlantic Wall. Atlantic Thank Wall. You. I, got a, I got Atlantic Wall. And you realize... There's a lot of counters in that game. Lots to clip. I clipped them all. I clipped Ooh, them all. Yeah, I would love I, to. I would love to own I that. I, but I know. Them and I clipped them all. The maps are gorgeous. The maps are great, but there's like eight of them, and I'm like, when I got them out of the box, I'm like, I can't even fit one of these maps on my table. Forget this game. And I packed it up, and since then, it's been, I don't know, it's been 
buried somewhere. Somewhere. I would, never, I I would love to have, have owned it, but I would never have played it because of that reason. Mm -hmm. Because I'm I probably going to be selling it. That's one of the ones that's on the that's going to be on the list of. I actually have. Uh, oh, I got a few here. I'll show you what I'm getting rid of. Well, knock, I know you're getting rid of Knock Paris, right? That's such a shame. Such a great game. I know. It's very good. <clears throat> cow, this man. is how organized I am because I've been stacking all the crap that I'm getting rid of over there. I'm getting rid of, oh, Ruff's favorite game. Shadows I love it. I like it. So yeah. one man's meat, another man's pork. Yeah, you didn't like it. Doesn't mean it's a bad game. You didn't like it. It does mean it's a bad game. It's no, a bad no, 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 no. In your opinion, I've never heard of it. <clears throat> in your opinion, Gloom and Kill Fort, same game. Why do I own both of them? I don't know. Yeah, I enjoy it. Ooh, tank leader. Look at that, Nate. It's a tactical game, Nate. You won't like it. I did buy American Tank Ace from Gregor's. Uh, you? Tank yeah. Leader of the East Front. Boom, boom, boom. Hmm. Well, one of his presents might interest you. Desert Steel, the third of the series. Yes, I bought the whole series because when I moved down here, I was like, oh, I'm going to buy all the games that I used to have. And I bought those games. And I'm like, why did I buy these games? Because I never played them the first time I bought them. Why would I buy the second ones? Now, did you not play them because you looked through the rules and went, no, nah, this is stupid? Or you looked It's got a great idea, and there's a lot of really good – it's 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 a unique system, first of all. It's It uses a card, kind yeah. of like um, Chit Draw now, but it's card. It basically has a card, okay. and each of the divisions is rated with A, B, C, <clears throat> D, mm -hmm. and based upon their – quality sort of have and and then um the map boards literally change based upon the scenario like um like you'll have terrain of towns and then the the, the map board might say all the towns are version two which means instead of being three hexes they're only one hex mm -hmm. so like two hexes are not towns anymore and then, like the terrain, uh, can change as well. Like the forest will just disappear off the map because you're not using the forest in that scenario, or whatever. You know, things like that. It's got an inch, it had a really good idea and and thought behind it. And I think, again, if I could play tactical games, it would probably be a great game. But I can't play tactical games solo, and I'm not going to find anyone to play it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna. I mean, these are great games. I just I'm not going to play them. So why why not give them to somebody else that might play them and use them? And look what uh, me and you know these like games are not easy. They're not they're not many copies <coughs> of them because I think it came out in like 1990. Yeah, it's an old it's an old game. I mean. Yeah. The Andrew Mike's getting rid of your your version of uh, Goss. You know, he's got mm -hmm. campaign for North Africa and Case Blue. You know, there. I recently we, saw a campaign going for like uh, over a thousand dollars. It's a stupid price, and oh, Case yeah. Blue as well. Case Blue is another bonkers game. Well, I wouldn't get them because I never play. <clears throat> now, Ruff, well, if you had the space, would you play like big games like that? Yeah, if I had a big room where I could with a big you know, two table tennis. Yeah. You know, sort of table. Yeah. Cool. I'd have it just set up in the corner. I could wander over every so often and go, hmm, I'll just move that one and then go back to uh, Target for tonight or something, you know. I'd now, love now, to do that. What prevents you from playing them on Vassal? Uh, doing this. Okay. Do we need I to get you a bigger that. monitor? Yeah. No, no. Even with a big monitor, the case blue. And, uh, you know, you're, you're still going to be, you know, if you've got, you might as well, if you get a big enough monitor, you might as well play the blooming game because you've got the big enough space to play it if you've got a big enough monitor. Well, but, I yeah. mean, TVs are cheap these days, so you could play it on a TV, like a big, like 60 inch TV. I, I think if you had two big monitors like me, you would change your mind. But I haven't, so I can't. <laughs> well, that's true. But I can't at the moment. I can't fit two monitors in. A because I've got the room, and B I haven't got the room. 
and there's <laughs> games, games here. Well, get rid of the games. No. What is the Yes, get rid of the game, set it up, play it, put it away. What are you waiting for? No, no. Ruff, no. Do you get, have you gotten rid of any games? I might take a couple to PunchCon to get rid of because I don't think I'll play them again. Not that they're bad games. I just don't think I'd play them. What are you getting rid of, Ruff? Um, oh, I've forgotten what they are. <laughs> I've got them somewhere. Well, they're hidden behind bloody games. Um, it's that one, um, and it's a good game, but uh, it's the one that's uh, the sort of North African slave trade um, one with the Americans and uh, Algiers. Yes, yeah. Um, good game, and uh, but I don't think I'll play it again. And the other one is the uh, oh, by the Serbian company. Again, I don't think I'll play the blooming thing. That's why. Um, it didn't tip me to. Um... Oh, here we go. It's called. Uh... Oh, the bloody title is not on the side of the box. It's the. Um... Oh well, it's it's a game. Oh, sorry, it's Freezing game. Inferno. Freezing Inferno. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah. Again, I don't think you, I'll play it. Do you still have? Um... Uh, what is it, Hulsa Hegra plays? Oh, um, I've got the prototype. Guys. I've got the prototype, which I want to give away to someone because you can't get Hulsa Hegra anymore. I was sent a copy of the, the retail version of Hulsa Hegra, which I'm not going to sell because I love that game. But the mm -hmm. prototype copy I've got, it's got a, it hasn't got some of the extra little bits it's got in the retail, but I'll give that away next time we give games away if, if somebody wants that to go to a good home because it's, it's nice. basically 90 nine percent of the game without little extra bits um and it's and it, that uh, prototype from that german guy or holland guy or whatever oh yeah 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 I, yeah i'll keep it i don't think i'll get rid of that i'll keep it just just because he sent it to me even though he don't talk to me anymore because uh, oh. i gave him some suggestions and he don't think oh. he liked it constructive not having a go at the game. It's not game constructive. If it didn't go anywhere, it wasn't constructive. You might have thought it was, but it wasn't. Just no, no, he just he was. It's this. No, I'm not going to go into the story again. Look back on the old vlogs. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll get rid of it just because he sent it to me and he made all the stuff himself. So out of respect. That's nice. um, just just uh, eleven ninety five for. C for North Africa. Campaign for North, Africa. for North Africa by Noble Knights is way too high. Mm. Especially since his punch rules are notated in the boxes and only in fair condition. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you would it's rather good. buy my games for me. Trust me on that. Just yep. think how many games I could buy for that amount of money. Yes. Think of that. And more Just, paints. More paints. Oh, yeah. I've got to paint that blooming thing. Look at it. Oh. That's crazy. Just it's crazy. What was the uh, what was the game with the the box with the three miniatures in it that you like you hated? Oh, the one he threw back on the yeah, room. Yeah, yeah. Was that's that gone down, that's that gone down, down in legend? That has. Let me tell you, that game is still. I was going to post about this game today, or not today, uh, like Friday, so yesterday. Um, because I happened to go on the miniature market site and I was looking at, they have co what's called something called the back room where they have the back room. You can go in the back room and find all the discounted games and everything in there. And guess what game was in there? That's right. I'm not this surprised. Game. And I'm like, oh, I can't believe they're still trying to sell this crap and they <laughs> still can't get rid of it. They literally cannot get rid of it. It's called Race to Moscow. Don't buy it. It's, buy, it. it's from a terrible, absolutely terrible company, Paral Parallax, Parallax, whatever the hell the name is. Do not buy anything from them. Phalanx, Do not any of their games. Phalanx right? Phalanx, yeah. thank you. I've yeah. got a game on order waiting for them. That's the um, uh, Vietnam game. So, uh, And here's the other kinker. They did a Kickstarter for the second version of this game where – Instead of race to Moscow, it's like race to Berlin or something. 
So they're oh, they're making Christ it the again. Rhyme. They're making it again, but basically changing the rules. I can't believe people are dumb. That that's how dumb. To be honest, if you want to make a million dollars, it's very simple because there's a lot of stupid people out there. I mean, there is a ton of stupid people. You can connive people into buying all kinds of stupid stuff. Entertainment is the easiest way to make money. Look at our baseball stars. Look at our football stars. Football stars are making 8 to $12 million for a backup. Why? Because it's entertainment. When you deal when you're dealing with entertainment, people pay through the nose for their entertainment. Well, and that's war games are getting more expensive these days. Yeah, uh, we could have a whole show on the <laughs> the cost of things and the real price of things because literally, like I said, you can go in the back room and these games that they've been charging sixty and seventy dollars for. You can get them for $3.99. You know they're not losing money when they're still selling it for $3.99. They're just trying to get rid of the game. Nobody wants it for $3.99 because it's a terrible game. But they're think about the ones they did sell that were uh several 60, 70, 80, $90 games. I mean it's, it's crazy how much the markup is on these. Well, these days a, a lot of war games are close to a hundred or over a hundred dollars already. Like I remember even when I got into this like six years ago, they were still hovering around 60, $60, $70, something like that, which I thought wasn't bad for particularly like, like I remember I bought the dark Valley, the deluxe edition for like $60. And that has a ton of game in it. And I thought that was a good price. Uh, but these days, I mean, even small games will, be over a hundred bucks. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Um, prices have gone up quite a bit because obviously the whole supply chain and shipping and all that bullshit that they're trying to claim. Yes. Costs are going to go up a little bit, but not as much as they're starting to charge for these games. But again, it's all about entertainment. Um, GMT and, and I love GMT. They're my favorite. They're the only company I buy things from pretty much war game anyways. I love GMT, but GMT will do the same thing. They, they have the P500 every year. They have the sale where you can get their games for half price, half price. So when you're buying the games at normal price or you're buying them on the P500, they're still making a lot of money on them. They're still making enough money to make it worth it. And and this is war games. So they're only, well, sure, it's a business. 3, 000, you know, they're only doing a print run of two or 3,000. <clears> you're talking a <throat> Euro game like, uh, the one that I just got called Wormspan. I don't know if you guys heard of it. You guys might That's not have heard of it. It's Wingspan with dinosaurs, isn't it's it? The wings, it's not dinosaurs, they're dragons. Dragons, all right, all yeah. right. Uh, yeah, so they made a print run of this of 50,000, and they're sold out already. So, I mean, just think of it. They're selling these games for 55 to $65 a piece, and they're sold out. Um, I'm sure... War games would do the same thing if they could. If they could sell 50,000 copies, they would. It's just a matter of supply and demand. Our war gaming is just a smaller yeah. piece of the pie. That's all. Yeah, when, you look at, look at it's growing. Like, when you look at companies like Simon or Cool Miniatures or not and Awakening Realms, when they do a, a game found thing, they get over a million pound, mm -hmm. you know, million, two million. It's stupid amounts of money they I get. mean, even the new edition of uh, Europa Universalis went crazy on uh, when it was first on Kickstarter. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's a huge, really complicated game, um, but it went bonkers. People wanted it. Well, I, uh, people just, they will pay whatever for their entertainment. People are very starved for entertainment. They want to be entertained. Are you, you know, the famous line, are you not entertained? That's why people come watch our show. They come watch our show not because we have something interesting to say. It's because we entertain them for well, a couple hours every week. Speak for yourself there, Jester. We talk nonsense for two hours and people <laughs> think we enjoy it. And, and that's great and I appreciate it. And, oh, do you want to know what your third present is? 
I do. What is my third present? Well, it's actually because the other two are a little bit, you know, uh, you know, but um, three games. And you, I know you like your tactical. I love that. I know you like your solitaire. Ooh, I love solitaire. These are old games that you might not have, or maybe you used to own many a year ago. And also for anybody that's younger than me and you, not talking to you, Nate, but that's in the chat, might not have heard of them before. Some of them would have, but, uh, and the first one is. Oh, you do have them. Oh, okay. Ambush. Uh, I actually never owned Ambush. You can only play it once unless you leave it for nine years and play it again. Is this the one where it's you have like a, a, you read a little paragraph and it tells yeah. you, oh, there's a German sniper, and then you got to yeah. go find the sniper? Yeah, and there's a little I card. Did actually play this it. game, and the first paragraph I remember was draw the German sniper counter and put it in this hex. And I looked through my whole box, couldn't find it. So I got rid oh. of it. <laughs> um, so you have to put the it's like a, a cartridge sleeve you put in the the one for the game you're playing and you've got little cuts out and you move it along and look up and it tells yeah, you what page to read that's great yeah that is I think, awesome i think you'd like that because you can just ah, sit i expect that in the box you're shipping me okay and the second game i've played it on, on you'll send it back with the guy from sweden you know they had to hold his box on the way out. no bless him bless him he it just i just gave some constructive uh, suggestions and uh, he didn't like it because he'd been developing it for over 10 years bless him but um the other one i've got to play through on the channel solo game tokyo express oh you talk about this one all the yeah, time it's a great game uh, designed by the chap that uh, you've got the um, carrier new carrier game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. same designer. Uh, we did the original uh, John Chuther, yeah, and you've got the original carrier game, which I've got a um, my own printed version of it. I made one up, uh, but that's that's a great game. Isn't and that the one I had to make the counter for? No, 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 not that one. Oh, I thought that was no, that was um, I the cover on oh, carrier. What was that? That was this one. Oh, really? That was, that was okay, that's surprising. I would have not. I would have not guessed that. Oh, that's out but, of print. And the other one, because you've just brought uh, Greg's um, tank game, like oh. like um, Target for today, and Target for tonight, harks back to um, B seventeen. Queen of the skies. Queen of the skies. Queen of the skies. I'm sure this is homage, and homage there for that tank game is. Mm -hmm. Patton's best. Patton's there you best, go. Which is a solo. That's, those game. are three green games because I never owned any of those. So look at the price. Things. Look at the price on there. Seventeen ninety nine. Seven, and that was probably on sale. <laughs> that was probably, yeah, because this is uh, what, what year is this? Eight, 87, 1987. So yes, it's all solo. These, Pure are great, these are great suggestions. I expect all three in the mail. Yeah, and oh, Compass is publishing a new edition. Yeah, because they've got John Southard on 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 hand now because oh, of the uh, new oh, carrier. Oh, oh, Rocky Express, really? Huh, I might uh, pre-order that then. The, the, two, does the, the pre two carrier games are very different because they're set in different sort of uh, battley things. You've got the the uh, turkey shoot in the new one. Whereas the other one is the um, the Tokyo Express. Um, well, sorry, the new one is the old. No, sorry, it is set in a different part of the uh, uh, Pacific War. So maybe they'll do that with Tokyo Express. Set it in a slightly. I don't know how because the Tokyo Express is set in the. Oh yeah, because the new carrier is set in the Philippine Sea. Yes. Yeah, it's the, the what they call the, the the old Turkey shoot thing. Yes. Yep. Where is this? Very honest turkey shoot. That's yeah, I'm black sheep, man. Come on now. Tokyo Come Express on, is um, Guadalcanal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the Battle yeah. of Savo Island. Yeah. Uh, ref, I, out of curiosity, I did was I looked up a uh, British inflation calculator of what 18 pounds in 1987 would be today, and it is 50 pounds. That's not what I, yeah, that's, that's, you won't get it for 50 pounds. No. 
No, not even close. Let's, see, huh? Let's look up. Uh, what was? Uh, see, I'm quite glad Tokyo, I got those. Tokyo so, Road, yeah. Tokyo. Was it Express? Tokyo Express. Good luck. Uh, somebody's selling it for ninety dollars. Yeah, that that's going for about sort of yeah ninety. To 90 to 140, depending yeah, on something like that. Quality. Yeah, so, and yeah. which you can get, but it's, the expansions for it are even more expensive than the core game. Well, I haven't Jester, got any of the expansions. Jester, I have my third one for you. Sorry. Ah, uh, yes. go ahead. <clears throat> this is I was saving the best to the last. I was I was I put a ton of thought into this one. Wanted to make sure something that I know you will enjoy. Something I, I have heard you talk about uh, uh, a million times on this show. And I thought, this is it. This is perfect for Jester. And it's an errata sheet. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Errata sheet. For oh, which yeah. Means. I know how much you love it. So, for what? What was that errata sheet for, by the way? It was, must have been a DVD game, I bet, because <laughs> it just was pretty it. big. Which it's one? one of many you just grabbed. It, right. it is, yes. <laughs> uh, so if you guys have a suggestion for a gift for Jester, put it in the comments section right now. We will highlight the best of the best. If you're not best, you're not getting highlighted. It's as simple as that. If you're one of the best, you might get highlighted. We know yeah, Butter Jelly's right. not one of the best. That is I mean, a great well, suggestion of mine, mm. yeah. that A map depicting Algeria in Algiers. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Yes, a map depicting Algeria in Algiers. I could use that. That would be great. That's a good suggestion, Michael. If you well find done. One. How long did it take you to get think of that one? Uh, I have the best gift of all for you: a giant reminder calendar to read the full AI bot rules, so you don't cheat yourself. That's true. I cheated myself last night. Uh, no, two nights ago when I played uh, Tewa Tewa Siu, Tewa 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 Siu, and I completely screwed myself. And I, oh, I did last night too because I kept getting the AI actions and actions and actions and shouldn't have done that. Oh, hold on, hold on, Jester, Jester, hold on. It's Tewa Tewa Khan. It's not. That's a different game. The one I played last night is. Tay Wah, can it to you? Please show it to me. I, I, I will show it to you right I, now. Are you ready? Are I'm you ready. ready? I'm ready. Bam. Tay Wah, can see you? Okay. All right. My apologies. You're, you are forgiven. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's oh, rough. Oh, my gosh, rough. What are you doing? Dice in every box. The they don't I need dice in every box. I tell uh, you what, no, I tell you what, you're saying this in France 40, they have got some lovely dice. You've got a black and a blue one, but they are matte finished. Mm, they are yes. really nice dice to, you know. Really? That's yeah. why I bought two boxes. So I have these extra dice because everyone yeah, no, can I'm, always use a dice. I mean, I've got a black and a blue. 6d6, but these are the matte. I'm not seeing these matte ones, they're really nice. Oh, uh, Christopher wants to be banned, doesn't he? I think, <laughs> I, still, I think I still know how to ban people, don't I? No, don't ban him, but you tend uh, to ban them. First, around the sheet. one arena sheet to rule them all, one around the sheet to find them, one around the sheet to bring them all and bind them. Nice, oh. <laughs> very nice. Lord of the Arata sheets. Yes, I did cheat myself last night, too. And I almost won, too. That's the funny thing. Stupid AI. Do, do you guys they're... cheat a lot for yourself? When you're playing a solitaire game by yourself, no videoing, how often do you actually, quote-unquote, cheat? Or, I don't like that roll. I'm going to roll it again. It, it depends Never. if it's been giving me a hard time. If it's giving me a hard time, it's like, I'll accept rolling that again. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't ever cricket. do that. Yes, I mean, Minden is point? like the, uh, the governing board of cricket. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, if you're just going to re-roll your dice, you might as well just pick out whatever number you want to roll for you. Mm. Uh, there you go. They're nice-looking dice. You know, they're black, black and blue, but they're, they're matte. They're not the sort of glossy ones they normally put in. 
Yeah, you better not. That's for sure. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start winding things down already. Next week, the go. show will be on Ruff's channel. Well, the next three weeks, actually, will be over on Ruff's channel. He's gonna. It's going to be all about Ruff's show here. Be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. What's the subject next week, Ruff? Anything? Don't know yet. It's not your birthday coming up, is it? Do we need to? No, come mine's up June. Life? Mine's June the first. Don't you worry. I'll let everybody know well beforehand. Well beforehand, in case they want to ship them something. Yeah, because it's your birthday. Well. Day? You're, you're November, aren't you? Me? Yeah. No, I'm next month. You're May. Uh, May uh, on VE Day, which is Victory in Europe Day. It's the no, which day? day? May eighth. That's May eighth. Really? Mm -hmm. Do we have a show on May eighth? We do not. That's a I Wednesday. It's on a Wednesday. So we'll have to have Nate's presence on the show May fourth. I'll be missing that show, Nate. Oh Aww. no! Well, that's not true. I might be here. I'm going to be at the War Room in Columbus, Ohio. And I might be doing a live stream. I might be sitting down at a table interviewing people that come in. It could be David Thompson, Herman Lutman. I mean, there's there's going to be all kinds of people there. Yeah. yeah what's, what have you done for the show? Anything? Do you – wait, let me ask this. So do you have already gaming plans for when you're out there? Like – what game? I know uh, me and Herman are going to hook up and play a couple games. I don't know anything besides that. Okay. It'd be cool to play like the whole, like a most fearful sacrifice, you know, the, the whole map and how huge they are um, to play that. I, I'm sure that would be fun. Uh, well, that's, that's the whole time playing though. How long is the, the, the thing? Yeah, the I don't think we're week? planning on playing that. I'm trying to remember what we decided. We were talking about playing um, – Mostly uh, like a couple of euros. Here's the thing. Uh, and I agree with Herman on this. Designers don't like playing their own games. So he doesn't like mm -hmm. playing his own games. He likes playing other people's games to get ideas. And yeah. you know, he doesn't like playing his game game. Old thing over and over and over again. So he doesn't like doing that. So <clears> we're not playing any of his games. Ah. I've just realized, Nate, that your birthday is the same as my son's. Oh, well, very cool. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. So yeah. now you'll be able to remember. I will make sure to I wish you a happy birthday. birthday. I'm terrible. I'm terrible at birthdays. Oh, me too. Me too. The Awful. wife. Mm, she's it, not yeah, very happy. Even the wife and my, my kids, you know, no. Is it your birthday today? <laughs> oh, and then you run out quick to the nearest garage and uh, buy something there. Like, it's okay. Uh, I remember one year that I got a <clears throat> card from my mother that she had made. And it was when I, I turned, I was 31 at the time. And she oh, sent me a card and it said, happy 30th birthday on it, son. And I, and I called her up and I go, mom, you know, I'm 31. Oh, I got the thumbs up. Um, He's doing it again. Yeah. Can him go. Go, mom, you know, I'm, I'm 31 today. She's, you are? When were you born? <laughs> like, you <Yeah>. should know. <laughs> she maybe, was there. Maybe, maybe we were adopted, Nate. Oh, <laughs> they just, you know, they didn't say. I definitely think I was adopted. Have you look at my family? My family's a bunch of weirdo nut jobs. I, there's no way that I should be part of this family. Uh, there's no way. I'm the only normal one there is. Get out of here. Really? I swear it. I swear. Well, I swear Ruff, it I, is. Ruff, I will remember to wish your son a happy birthday on May the 8th. And I shall do the same. Wish you Nordic yourself. It's Sarah's birthday. birthday with John Lennon. <clears throat> and it's Sarah's birthday with his twin sister. Yeah, very, very droll, Christoph. Very droll, yes. Uh, what do we got coming up? So tonight on my channel, 8 o'clock, 8. Are you going to come back at 8 tonight? You should. Tonight, me and Phoenix Knight are going to be playing Aeon Zen again. We played it a couple weeks ago. Had a great time. Ruff, you play Aeon Zen. Oh, I love it. I've got the, got the whole, you know... Tons of the blooming stuff, and we've got the um, the new one coming out. We both ordered. Yes, we we P five hundred it thanks to you. Yeah, that was cool. I've got uh, you know all, most of the expansions, not all, but uh, yeah, I love it. It's a another forget yourself and play games. Are you playing it on tabletop simulator? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Is this going to cool. be five and a half hours long? 
No, no. Just, me and no, Phoenix no. will be in like an hour. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna crush it again. We did really good last time. We had a really we good we did really good. So yeah, we're gonna it's, crush it's it again. It's not a long game because you either win or you lose. Uh, right Nordic now. will be there. Thank you, Nordic. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah, so well, I'm right. eight, we're gonna be doing that. Then I will be out of town Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, and I'll be coming back Wednesday. On my birthday, I'm driving home on my birthday on Wednesday. Aww. So you won't see or hear from me Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then we'll do the usual play six things on Wednesday, six things on Thursday, six things on Friday, and one thing on Saturday next week before the show. I will, Christoph. I will one day unwrap uh, Red Strike. I want to learn it, so I'm hoping uh, Eves can teach me at um, – Punch con. That's a monster the... game, Rob. Yeah. Oh god. But they got little like Nuck Paris, they got little they say that, but it doesn't matter. It's still, no, still gonna read the whole blooming rules. Yeah. <laughs> it's like I bought a giant pizza. Well, you only have to have one slice. No, you don't. You have to eat the whole you goddamn pizza. Yeah, even if even if you warm it up the next day. Right. You're gonna yeah. eat that whole pizza. You gotta eat it. Absolutely. What are you got coming up, Ruff? Anything? Well, I've got this unboxing of France 40 all being well. I've got to edit it. Um, and then I'm going to try. Oh, I'm so frustrated with not being able to get the videos out. But that's bless her, you know. And and hopefully, yeah, Ollie will be back at school next week. Um, and hopefully I, uh, Mrs. Ruff will be out doing her visits and things so I can get on with some videoing. So, um I've still got to do that bloody escape from Stalingrad Z. So I want to get that out of the way. We've been talking about that for six months. I know, I know. And I'm so I mean, the zombie apocalypse is going to happen. Before yeah, it's happening. It's on hold. It's on hold. I've got it on pause. But I'm just so frustrated. It, not it has literally it. been on pause since the moment that I joined the show. Like, yeah. I've heard about it every <laughs> single and that's, time. And that's how long I haven't had a video out because of what's happened, you know. So, uh, so okay. February... <laughs> Hopefully next next week it will start to get easier because you know I'm just as frustrated as my subscribers are. So sick, um, and then you know holidays, and then yeah, shit happens. Oh, sorry, I've just demonetized. I've just <laughs> oh, great, great, great. There, there's sorry. all the money gone. Thanks a lot, Ross. Sorry. All gone. All three cents. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I'm as you don't know how uptight about it I am, but uh, hopefully. Things will get back to normal. So yeah, wait and see. Don't hold your breath though. I won't. Um, Nate, anything coming up for me this week? Yeah, I have yeah. a friend that we're going to be playing Star Wars Rebellion with the expansion. Ooh, this week. Are you going to record it? No, 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 no. We're we are together, both learning the expansion, and and we want to learn it first. Uh, well, but that's, it's that's, actually that's not what he does. It's <laughs> well, you don't need to worry about that. You just play it, and if you do it wrong, you do it wrong. No, 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 no. I played no. a five and a half hour video last night, and then I found out four hours in that I was doing something wrong. No, no, can't do that. No, me and it's actually uh, uh, my friend Ryan from on the board game bunker. Him and I are going to be learning that, and uh, who knows, that might be a video someday, but... Yeah, learn it, that's it. Oh, I always try and learn the right. game as best I can before I video it, because... Right. Uh, Unfortunately, the the track record that I have with videos right now, there's a better chance of Jesus returning than me getting a video out. Well, so. he's Jew, isn't he? <laughs> Between you and Ruff, Jesus is going to show up way before you two. <laughs> way, 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 way. Well, everyone, thank you for coming by. Another great week, another great show. Nate, Ruff, thank you, guys. I appreciate no, thank it. You. No, thanks, thank thanks you. Thanks to the chat. Thanks to the chat. They they were a little light today. I don't know if there's something going on. There's a holiday somewhere in the world. If there's a tornado going on, whatever happened. But some people didn't show up to the show today. And we're going to we're gonna have to call those people out next week. Well, but, we'll make a note of who that was, and, and uh, you know, well, yeah. So you guys that were here, you're okay. It's the ones that didn't make the show next week. They're on our list. You don't want to be on our list. It'll be on my channel next week. I'm not sure what we're doing. Um, when well, we'll let you know. You know, sounds good. 
Well, thanks everyone for coming out. We'll see you next week. Until then, my friends, take care of yourselves. Yeah. Thanks Don't everyone. Hit that like button. It's still broke. Yeah, make sure. Yeah. <laughs>